What up y'all, it's Jeff Wilson here at the Texas Fish Room, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use two different types of materials to make lids for your fish tanks. So what we have here, we have some corrugated plastic that's used for greenhouses or stuff like that. And also we have some acrylic sheets. What we're doing is making some lids for the koi pond and the 75. The first one we're going to tackle is going to be the 75. So we're going to come out here and get our measurements. So we got roughly four foot, a little over, and 18 inches. So with our sheet we have here, it's already 48 inches long. We bought this at Home Depot. So I measured off 18 inches from here. I'm gonna make a mark from there to there so I know exactly how much to cut off. It's not the prettiest line, but it'll work. And now I gotta get my clamps. Now what we're gonna to use to cut this down is, we got some jigsaw. Makes it easy, I know how well it's gonna cut. And normally I'd like a little bit better setup than this, but we're stuck here from the ice and snow right now that Texas has for some reason. So we're gonna make do with what we got. Now, since this does have a Title 110 filter on it, we are having to knock this out. I do recommend not using a wood blade on this because I have did get a few chips off of it, but I need something on there now because like I said, it's too cold in here. So we're making do with what we have. Like I said, it's still gonna turn out good, just not as pretty as I'd like. Now the key to this is to go slow because if you go too fast or try to force it, I'll show you what it does. So we got everything cut. Right here is where I tried to speed it up and pushed it a little harder than I should have. So we did get a crack. That's why I do recommend using a, another blade besides a wood blade because that wouldn't have happened as easy. Let's go test fit it. We now have it on. We do have some bowing. That's just due to the fact the way it was sitting for so long. That will actually flatten itself out after a few days. Get some little heat in here because it's way too cold than what it should be. We did. Got plenty of room cut out for that. Now let's show you how I'm going to do this one. Now, on this first part, we're not gonna do a lot of measuring. We got a good template right here. So what I'm gonna do is take my marker and mark a line about where I wanna cut. This will save me a lot of time and headache because it is not square since it's an oval. Now let's cut this piece. Now, on this lid, it's real simple to cut. All we have here, some simple cutters. We'll just follow my line I traced on here and go cut out. Well, we now have our first piece on here. And what we're gonna do is exact same thing. We're gonna set our other two pieces on here 
I'll mark them out with a pen and then hand cut them back out. Oh, there we go. We now have a lid on our 300 gallon uh, indoor koi pond. I so say you can actually take it a few steps further and drill some holes and use some zip ties to make it all hinge. But I know this tub's going to be going outside really soon for summer tubbing. So I'm not going to worry about that. Thank y'all for watching this video on how to make two different style lids for your aquariums. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, share this channel, help us out. It, we need as much traffic to go into as we can. Also, we now have our Beware of Attack Beta signs for sale on TexasFishroom.com. These are made from three millimeter PVC, so they don't actually rust. And you can put these in your aquarium as well. Y'all take it easy.